know, if you turn off your brain, it it should be all right. Hey, what's up, guys? Before this video starts, I would like to give a huge thank you for the amount of support and love I've been getting for over my short film, Aftermath, which was released yesterday. Well, this video is coming up later. I just want to say a huge thank you because this short film would not be here without your support. Huge thank you for Nathan because he's always been a part of my projects and he's been a great support. And also David Fesselian for letting me use his music royalty free. Huge thanks to both of them and to everyone who has supported. Now let's get on to Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is Zack Snyder's new zombie movie and... Yeah, if you turn off your brain, you might you might have a fun time with this movie. So basically the plot of this movie is there's $200 million at a casino in Las Vegas where a zombie uh, outbreak has happened. So this guy wants to get a crew and go into the vault of the basement steal for $200 million uh, since it is money before the outbreak happened. And I gotta say right off the bat, um, Zack Snyder really loves aliens, it looks like, watching this movie. Another thing is it's almost, it's very much like Rogue One, not like plot-wise. Eh, well. But in the sense of you got like an hour and a half of like you have like two-thirds of the movie building up to a final giant act of the movie That's really fun to watch and you only really want to watch the final act So I guess kind of like that's kind of like Rogue One in a sense and has a lot of parallels to aliens uh, like a lot One thing I need to end this movie is that it's two and a half hours. This movie does not need to be two and a half hours. Zach buddy I'm you, you gotta you gotta shorten up your movie sometimes, bro. But let's stop talking about that, let's talk about the story. Um, I love the concept of having a, a heist movie during a zombie apocalypse. I think that's an amazing idea. Once I heard about that, I was hooked from the start. Concept-wise, I think it's great, but execution-wise, I think there's a lot they left out that could have been more. For example, in the trailer you see a zombie tiger, you think there's gonna be a lot with that zombie tiger, but there's not really a lot to it. There's not really a lot to it. It's not really fleshed out as much as you would hope it would. And I gotta say, I think one of the best parts of the movie is the opening credits. It's one of the few times I'll accept one of like Zack Snyder's super long slow motion takes. But the opening credits was absolutely fantastic. The opening credits is exactly what I wanted from most of this movie, except without the heist part. And then once you introduce the heist part, it's not as, it's not as showy and, and exaggerated as I was hoping it was going to be. But the concept as interesting and as ridiculous as this, I was hoping for an execution to be as more ridiculous as I was hoping to be. Instead, we kind of give a slow build of a movie to characters that I don't even remember any of their names. I don't really even know most of the actors in this movie. I know Dave Bautista. And the thing is, each character has their own little thing. I just don't remember their names and don't really honestly care for much of them. Again, this movie's really just turn off your brain and just kind of have fun with it. Even turn off when you still want exploding ridiculousness with a, a movie about a heist and a zombie apocalypse. And to me, I think that's the hardest part to get past. Most of this movie is kind of pandering up into like the final hour. And then after that final hour, that's when the ex that's when the fun happens. And I just think they could have just went a little extra with it. Needless to say, I thought the last hour chunk was really fun to watch actually. In this movie, there's not really spoilers, but there's one thing I really want to talk about, which really isn't spoiler, but is Zack Snyder's vision of these zombies. They're like your standard zombies, but there's one thing, they have like class and rank to them. So you have like a bunch of like, I guess the regular zombies that we think of, and then you have like a king and a queen almost. And I think that's such a really neat idea. I really dug this idea. That is probably the most interesting part in this movie is that you have, that these zombies have like a classism and like a respect. And I don't think I've ever seen that in a zombie movie, and I really dug it. There's a lot of things in this movie where you just think to yourself, maybe you can go a little more with it. Just wish you could just go a little further, because it would make it less mediocre or more exaggerated, I think. Flat out, Dave Bautista's daughter kind of sucks in this movie. Not as an actor, but like as a character and the decisions they're making. Also, Dave Bautista, if I was Dave Bautista, there's no way I would let my daughter in. I know, she's like, if you don't let me in, I'll go in myself. Well, anyway, I just really hated her character in general. As an audience, we learn about these characters and some of their backstories, but honestly, as an audience member, I don't really care about much of these characters, and I just wish we cared about more of these characters and stuff. Also, this movie sets up for a sequel, and I'm not sure if we're gonna get one, but I know apparently we're getting a prequel animated series uh, later this year already with the same voice cast, which doesn't make sense to me because the way the events happen in this movie... A prequel series. There's not really much else to talk about this movie, There's especially no big spoilers. The only spoilers I would really do is kind of just me digging into this movie. I'm really stuck between a four and a five on this movie because I definitely wouldn't watch it again. And I think a five is just like a, you know, an average whatever movie. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the five of this movie. I don't know, my opinion might change. Nope. I'm gonna go with, no, we'll go with 4.5. 4.5 for this movie. It's fine. It's a little below average. If you really want to watch them have a dumb fun time, yeah, go ahead. So yeah, that's my review on Army of the Dead. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, thank you so much for the support on my short film, Aftermath. I really appreciate it more than anything. Any of you guys, I hope you enjoyed my review, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Another thing is, as an audience, we... Ex another thing is, that we as an audience see what these characters... Another thing is, we as an audience... Damn it, bro.
don't really, as an audience, I don't. As, 